we'll move on to the next problem very much similar to the previous problem but still there are one or two new adjustments you have to understand in the problem given here you have the first information as the profit is 25 percent of sales so 25 percent of sales when it is given let us assume the sales has 100 percent then profit will be 25 percent then there is a given one 100 minus 25 cost will be 75 percent so here the sales amount is known given in the problem as 18 lakhs so 18 lakhs is given so 25 percent of 18 lakhs is 4 lakh 50 thousand 25 percent of 18 lakhs is 4 lakh 50 thousand the balance is 75 percent or it can do 18 lakhs minus 4 lakh 50 thousand so it becomes 13 lakh 50 thousand so this calculation is required for calculation of uh, the debtors and uh, the other things so this calculation to be done in the beginning then we have to start the information one by one from the problem given in the problem you have one more information that the depreciation is considered as one of the cost of uh, uh, production it is going to be there in the one of the expenses that is manufacturing expenses no separate entry is made for depreciation therein. So let us take the first one that is sales, two months credit. So sales is connected to debtors at cost only because we are able to calculate the cost. Cost is that is 13 lakhs 50,000 into two months credit. Two lakh twenty five thousand. Then materials consumed is nothing but uh, raw material. So stock of raw material and the creditors. So here they have given as raw materials consumed is uh, one month. So that is going to be stock of raw material only. So four lakh fifty thousand into twelve. 1 by 12, 37,500 and the company keeps one month the stock of each raw material and finished goods. So it is also given that comes to the finished goods and the stock part of it. So nothing is told about raw material supply. So raw material will assume again one month credit only. So 1 by 12, same amount. 37,500 Next, wages Wages is a current liability 3,60,000 into 1 month 30,000 given in the problem as 1 month very clearly given 1 month lagging period Next is cash manufacturing expenses 1 month lag that is manufacturing expenses 4 lakh 80,000 into 1 by 12 that comes to 40,000. The next one is administration expenses. 1 month lag again. One, more, 1 lakh 20,000 into 1 by 12 that comes to 10,000. Then you have sales promotion expenses. Please read carefully, they are very clearly given, paid quarterly in advance. So, advance payment of sales promotion expenses, paid quarterly in advance. There are four quarters in a year, four parts, so one by four, not half yearly, it is quarter, so 15,000. Then, income tax payable in four installments in which one license next year so nothing to do with this because it is next year then we have to go for the other information the company keeps one month the stock of each of raw material and finished goods so raw material stock we have done we have to do finished goods finished goods is always at cost 
13 lakh 50 thousand into 1 by 12, 1 lakh 12 thousand 500. Then in the paragraph it is given the company keeps 1 lakh rupee cash, that is cash in hand, 1 lakh, again current asset. So last sentence you have on the basis assumption 15% safety margin. So safety margin comes after net working capital. So we have to go for calculation of uh, the total current assets and current liabilities. Then we have to go for margin. So now let us go for total of uh, current assets. 4,90,000. If you minus all the current liabilities, it comes to 3,72,500. So contingency or margin amount is calculated on net working capital. So 15% of this 55,875. If you did it, net working capital requirement 4,28,375.